you know, many of us don't, all we, all we get to see of the Olympics is what we see on TV. So I want you to paint a picture for us of what it was like walking out of the opening ceremonies, what it was like to finally realize that you had reached a dream, and uh, just a little bit about the atmosphere, you know, the, the Olympic Village, just a little bit about your experience and what it's like. Yeah, so it's awesome. And <laughs> I'm a huge sports fan, so a huge sports fan. So for me... Uh, Going to the Olympics was obviously a dream come true. Um, you know, it, it'd be some, something that I pursued for my career my entire life. You know, when you first kind of jump into pool or you go to your first meet or you see it on TV, you're thinking that'd be awesome to go to. Um, but probably as a f- sports fan first, to see you know other athletes that you recognize, uh, Nadal, like Rafa Nadal, right. um, the U.S. men's basketball team, um, were there, you know, Kobe was there. Um, it was it was amazing to to just be a part of that atmosphere. It was a celebration of sport, is is what it is. Right. And the best part about the London Games was the entire UK and London, like the entire place was behind these games. Um there was just a real celebratory atmosphere amongst the whole city. And then in the games itself, you know it was electric um, to see other athletes and, and kind of, you know, see the village and really just be a part of the celebration was, was amazing. And, um, you know, kind of when you get into the village, you obviously get set up in your, your base camp. So as team Ireland, you get to know like other like Irish sports stars that you've kind of seen from afar and, um, get to it like room with athletes that you've never been so for me i was rooming with a, a badminton player that I actually knew previously and um, but then two guys two irish cyclists had just come from the tour de france and were were joining and, and sharing the apartment with so just chatting to those guys about their training their nutrition and um, you know their thoughts on, on on competition it was really kind of as a student of sport it was really fascinating to just hear other people's perceptions and take on things and you know understanding why they did the way they did and, you know we Ireland's quite strong in boxing as well so at mm-hmm. those Olympics I think we won one gold and maybe two or three bronze in the boxing mm-hmm. but then going down to you know the, the team room for Team Ireland and then seeing the boxers warm up on the pads honestly these guys are probably like 105 pounds but lighting the pads up absolutely tearing the pads apart it was it was amazing to be, to be a part of um for this games from what i'm seeing on instagram and things like that it looks very different it still seems like a celebration but obviously with the new restrictions in place right um uh, that kind of mingling and, and social aspect uh i think it's going to be a bit different right so i was, I was kind of seeing like in the food hall they're they're sitting opposite each other with perspex up and you're still right. connecting, but there's just a, they're just that little bit more cautious. And um, from a com- like a competition perspective, or from a you know a, an athlete, it's it's a whole new kind of stress on your right. body. You t- taking these PCR tests, right, and um, right. waiting for results. It's a, it's a new thing that you know these people, these athletes wouldn't have dealt with before. So it's going to be the people who who really are able to stay level headed who, you know, let these sort of things just water off ducks back type of thing um, that are going to excel at these games. Um, and it's going to be really interesting to see. I, I, I'm going to, I'm so fascinated, you know, for, for me, where London, I think the capacity was about 20,000 people. I've never seen 20,000 people in the swimming pool. So to go out that first day, um, and, and, and sorry, just to, to, to backtrack there, um, I didn't go to the open ceremony because I'm on, my hundred pressure was on the the very next morning. So oh. like nine a.m. the next morning was my first event. So, so can... watched the opening ceremony like in my room, but could see it like out the window, like with right, all right. the fireworks <laughs> and lights and all. Um, but uh, yeah, so kind of going out to that first morning, um, my dad was in the crowd, and um, my parents were at the Olympic House in somewhere in London. Oh, sorry, my, my mom was at the Olympic House somewhere in London with my brothers. Um, and yeah, just being able to swim in front of that crowd was amazing. I had some friends come over from Dublin who flew over to London to watch as well. So just, you know, again, people who followed my career my whole life, my age group swim coach who I was, who I was with since I was 11 years old, um, she came over and was 
you know, a like so grateful to be able to kind of put together, you know, a life's work um, and and perform at that level and, and just have the people that have really backed me the whole way to to be um to be able to put that together for them. Yeah, it was amazing. 